Namo Myoho Renge Kyo. Hi there. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your practice. Thanks for your support, liking and subscribing these videos. Liking the videos and subscribing to this channel helps promote the Sangha. So it's a Bodhisattva thing to do and it's free. So thanks for that. Today's term out of the Buddhist reference is Bodhisattva. Let's just get right into it. One, dedicating oneself to the pursuit of the Buddha way. Two, as we develop our awakening, we assist others to do the same while remaining in samsaric worlds or realms. We'll talk more about that. Uh, three, a bunch of schmutz on my glasses. That's not three. <laughs> Just had to take a moment to get our little friends off my lenses so I could see what I'm doing. And that's better. Three, living our human life with the insights of our Buddhist study and practice coursing as bodhisattva, in the words of the, the sutras. Yeah. So, Shakyamuni was the honorific name given to Siddhartha Gautama, right? As the first bodhisattva of Buddhism. That's correct. Shakyamuni was, in fact, living as a bodhisattva, having manifested full and perfect Buddha mind and teaching, facilitating, promulgating the path to enlightenment for all beings. And so he was referred to as Shakyamuni, Shakya being of the Shakya clan, Muni being great sage, so great sage of the Shakya clan, Shakyamuni, who is a realized Buddha mind, but because he's still a human, here to interact with us directly, he is actually a bodhisattva, a fully enlightened bodhisattva. A bodhisattva being a human being, a living being, who is coursing through the world, fully enlightened, Buddha mind, all the time. Right? So, given the title Buddha to indicate his accomplishment, but he, in fact, because we know Buddha is a mind state, not a human, as a human, he's a bodhisattva, what we all aspire to, yes? All right. Let's take a brief moment to consider the term living beings in light of Buddhist thought. As stated in the Engine of Life, all phenomena are instantiation of the same process of formulations or formations, see karma. Since this is the case, then all constituent parts of the universe are living. And since the process is a moment-to-moment -moment cycle of arising, decaying, and dissolution, each of these moments constitutes a being, right? Momentum. Be in the moment into the next ing, being. Yes, it's a momentum. It's not a static thing. As an instantiation of momentum, as it says right here in the book. Once again, the inclusivity and equanimity of Buddhist ultimate reality includes all the universe as a collection or a multitude living beings. This is where words like innumerable and unfathomable enter the lexicon of Buddhism texts, right? Because it's, it's, the universe is so large we have no idea. The distances we even talk about are unfathomable, right? Oh, it's just 100 billion light years away. What? what? 100 billion, huge number, hard to conceive of, but 100 billion of the distance light would travel in a year at 300,000 meters per second? You can calculate all of that. Why bother? You can't, you can't apprehend it, yeah? The bodhisattva, or monk, or dedicated student of Buddhist practice is the locus for the propagation of, uh, of support and facilitating those seeking the Buddha way. 
to find in their own, oops, there's a typo, karmic life, their path to this awakening. It is important to understand that the Bodhisattva can offer all manner of support, but cannot simply gift or render upon another being a specific path or an actual experience of awakening the Buddha mind within them. Right? We've talked about this a lot. Buddha, Buddhahood, Buddhaness is something for each one of us to find our way to the maze, the unfathomable freight train of karma that each one of us is. There is no one path. There's a general path. And in that path, you will make personal discovery. And the more personal discovery you make, the more you hone your own path to this ultimate goal of awakening. But it's your awakening. I can't give you mine and mine won't awaken you. It will support you in you awaking you. Do you follow? Buddhism is a singular and intimate practice of self-enlightenment. Having said this, the closest facil facilitation for insight and discovery of one's path is the shared practice of chanting the Daimoku in unison. That is the closest you and I will come to sharing Buddhahood, through, albeit through our own mental portal, our own personal Gohonzan. Yeah? Many in body, one in mind. Done in the presence of a properly enshrined Nichiren mandala to combine focus on the Myo and Ho characters of the mandala, we can share one mind in multiple bodies to experience Buddha for ourselves in unison. This is the process known in Japanese as Itai Doshin. So all of that is under the moniker of Bodhisattva. The description could be much, much longer, but that's the gist of it. A Bodhisattva, a student, an avid student, a dedicated student of Shakyamuni's teachings, using in our era Bodhisattva Nichiren's insights and doctrine to correctly practice what Shakyamuni is teaching, right? And to inculcate in our minds as much as possible throughout our day, Buddha-ness, the Buddha mind, the Buddha awareness. Hmm? And with that mindset, influence our environment. Propagation. Just chant, right? Chant for yourself, chant for others, not for them as if you're doing it in their stead, but for their enlightenment, to assist their enlightenment, right? Language is tricky. So let's understand that correctly. All right, a lot of people would not have conceived that Shakyamuni was in fact the original Bodhisattva, but that's because of the misunderstanding of what Buddha is. Buddha is the mind the human, the, the living being on earth is not an enlightened mind with legs. It's a human in, in the samsaric world, but coursing through that world solidly in the Buddha way. That's where the way comes from, right? Applying Buddha-ness, Buddha awakening to this samsaric world existence. Make sense? And this is our, our charge, right? In the Lotus Sutra, we, the Bodhisattvas from under the earth, from beneath the earth, meaning future Bodhisattvas growing into the future like plants, right? A seed is placed in the ground and it works its way out of the ground and flourishes, 
So we are those bodhisattvas in this era. Nichiren being our bodhisattva, right? Who saw the Buddha way and taught it to us. And we, as Nichiren implores us to do, are emulating Nichiren. This is all about bodhisattva. Yeah? All right. Thanks for listening. Um, I've got to make some, change some typos in this. <laughs> Constantly working on this book. And uh, yeah, it's up to about 184 pages now. I've included some terms from uh, the meditations in the liturgy. Things like Shoten Zenjin. I forgot people often ask, what the heck are the Shoten Zenjin besides these naming conventions? Yeah. Uh, Self-manifestation, what does that mean? Yeah, that's in the book. So I'm ex- I should probably maybe put out another I, um, picture of the table of contents so you guys can see how the book is growing and the, the terms and words that it's including. Um, I'm hoping to make a, a, a real contemporarily useful Nietzschean doctrine of Shakyamuni's Lotus Sutra practice in modern terms to facilitate our understanding. Not another dictionary of terms that has all the ancient descriptions of flowers and all of that. If that's not useful for our it's, this is supposed to be a pragmatic, practical practice. That's what Siddhartha set out to do. It should be easy for anyone to do. It should be entirely pragmatic. It's about living this life well. So just give me some instruction, right? Don't cloud it with all this uh, mythology and, and folklore. Sometimes it's helpful to know little stories. I provide analogies too. But all in the service of helping each one of us get insights so that i mean that's what gives you confidence right how can you maintain resolve and confidence and determination in single-mindedly meeting buddha-ness buddha if you're not quite sure nietzsche talks about it all the time so hopefully this buddhism reference book will be another tool to help accomplish that And I appreciate, uh, many of you have had suggestions. I appreciate your thoughts on the matter. Uh, It's it's really, it it helps me change gears where sometimes maybe I'm a little stuck. And then I'm reminded, oh yeah, there's all those terms right there in what we read every day. I should at least give a clear definition of those terms. So this is what, I'm still working on it. I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, I haven't, created a a useful book of this sort in a long, long time. So I'm excited, and that's what I'm working on. In the meantime, please take care of your health. Keep your practice strong. And uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'll read every email I get and every comment. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Patrons, you guys are amazing. I couldn't be doing this without your assistance. So... Whether it's through Patreon or it's uh, PayPal, however you are helping to support this effort, um, you are definitely a bodhisattva, yes. Don't forget the website, threefoldlotus.com. A lot of ebooks there that aren't available on uh, lulu.com. The print books, of course, on lulu.com. Uh, that also helps to support this channel, of course. Um, anyway, be kind. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.